Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have something really exciting for you. So today we are going to discuss on how to write an article for a website. Now a lot of you um, have commented on uh, content writing videos asking for how to write content or how to create content and how to write articles for websites and this is exactly what I'm going to discuss in this video. So stay with me till the end because there is a lot of value in this video and you will learn a lot. Get a notebook and a pen as well. Now for those of you who are new to this channel, hi guys, I am Chavi. I am a blogger, a YouTuber and an online business coach. We make videos about making money online, about freelancing, online businesses and a lot of fun stuff like that. So if you are interested in it, don't forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel and let's get started. First thing you need to do as a content writer when you're writing content for any website or you're writing content for any blog is to find a topic. Once you have done that, there are two things that you can do. Now, if you have been working in a freelance writing niche for a while, you have ideas and you have an idea about how things work and what are the general um, rules of that industry, etc. Now, if you don't have that, then it's, then also it's completely fine. We have a way out. So the first thing that you need to do is to structure your article in the sense. Now we are going to understand this entire process with the help of an example. So yesterday I sat down and I wrote an article on best things to sell on Etsy. What I want you to do is to keep one hour aside and read about the topic. And once you're done with that, I want you to sit down with a notebook and a pen and jot down what you think should be included in that topic. Just whatever you remember from your memory, whatever you remember of your understanding, I want you to jot it down in heads and subheads. Now, once this is done, once you have um, jotted down a structure from your understanding, from your point of view, this is when I want you to go on the internet again. Now, this is a very important step. I don't want you to skip uh, this first step of jotting things down from your memory, your understanding, because this is when you can get creative. This is when you can actually uh, get original ideas to include in your article. If you just jump on the internet, what is going to happen is you're going to read the top 10 articles and it's going to get stuck in your head and creativity becomes really difficult. The first thing first, use your brains, use your creativity, create a structure. The second thing is to go on the internet, then read the top 10 articles or top 15 articles. See what they have written, how they have structured. Is there something that you have missed out in your structure and jot it down? So in my example, once I started researching on what others have written, I realized that there is one thing that I was missing from the article that was how to find top selling items. So there were a few SEO tools that you could use with Etsy that help understand what is ranking, what keyword you're ranking for, or what are the top selling items right now on Etsy. So I jotted it down. And I created a section for that because that is, of course, an important aspect of how to sell on it. So do that with your article. So just make pointers from this top 10 to 15 articles into your structure. When you are reading these articles, you will also come across specific point of views or specific experiences of the bloggers. Now, I don't want you to copy that. Okay, so if you are taking somebody's personal experience, jot down along with the name and the website that you're taking it from and do link out to them, credit them. Tell them that you found this uh, piece of advice from their blog and this is amazing and you can find the other and you can find that blog here. Give them a backlink, credit them because um, that's the most uh, ethical thing to do as a content writer. Now, once all, the, all that is done, there are four ways you can create a more interesting content for your client. The first thing is to include statistics. So when I was writing the Etsy article, um, each and every time I came across something where a uh, statistics could be included, I did that. So, um, for example, the revenue Etsy make each and every year, how many sellers Etsy has, the growth of Etsy, uh, a lot of things, a lot, there were a lot of stats for it. So all you have to do is to write down what you're looking for and write statistics in Google and you will find it. So Etsy statistics 2021, I found a lot of good articles with a lot of great stats to include. So if you can do that in your article, include stats. Now, each and every time you're including stats, link back to the site because this is a claim that you're making and you want to back it up with credible 
sources and high authority websites so make a note of that the second thing you can do is to use google scholar and google books now it is books.google.com and scholar.google.com you can go to both of these sites type in your topic and see what comes up read those books read those scholarly articles so um if you find something you can make a note of that in your structure and save the link as well because you want to link it out because if it's a harvard or a cambridge or an oxford article for example it makes sense because it increases the credibility of your article the third thing that you want to do is while doing all the research if you can come across a quote from a very famous person you can include that in your intro or in your conclusion it makes it more interesting to read and the last thing that you can do is to keep an eye on where you can add a table for example so when i was writing the hc article and i came uh, to the section where i was talking about the fees i created a table which uh basically made the entire fee structure simpler for the audience similarly when i was writing an article on how to become a bookkeeper i created a table to distinguish between what a bookkeeper does and what an accountant does which makes it much more easier for the audience to understand the difference and it becomes visually appealing as well so there is a table easier to understand visually appeal okay so if you can insert a table if you can create an infographic on canva canva is completely free to use by the way So you can use that for creating blog graphics, whatever. Something which is visually appealing, something that you can create in a graphics and it will look really lovely in the article. Do that. So these are the four things that you can do to add spice to your article, and your clients will also love it. Now by this time, your structure is going to be one huge mess. Okay, but it will contain everything that you want to include in that article. Now I want you to start writing this article. Don't start with the intro or the conclusion. Start with the body of the article. Write everything in your own words. Okay, all the pointers. Explain it in your own words because by now you have understood the topic very well. So, write the entire body. After that, write the conclusion. And once you are sure about what your article contains, write the intro. Don't ever write the intro first because you'd never know how the article. Sh- It's always, always the best idea to write your intro at the end. Now, once your article is ready, there are three things that I want you to do. Run it through Grammarly to ensure that there is no grammatical error or spelling errors in your article. The second thing is to run it through Hemingway, which will tell you whether or not your article is simple enough for people to understand. And if it is not, it will give you suggestions on how to make it simpler uh, for the audience. And the third thing is to run it through Copyscape. Now, Copyscape is a plagiarism tool to so run your content through Copyscape to ensure that there is no plagiarism. As a content writer, you need to write articles that is where there is no plagiarism at all. Okay, copyright is a big thing, and you don't want to caught, get caught up in that. Just ensure that all the things that you write is original and is worded in your own words. And if you are taking something from some place word to word, like statistics, for example, you have to link that out and give credit to that source. Okay. Now this is the entire process that I used to write articles for my clients, and they were really happy with it. It was different from other content writers because I actually put in the efforts. There were graphics, there were stats, there were quotes, and it made the entire article extremely, extremely personalized for the client. And as you start writing more and more in the same niche, that is why I say freelance writing niche is so important. Once you start writing more and more into your niche. you will have a better understanding of the industry you will have your original ideas it will become extremely easy to write an article like this and create a structure of your own okay i hope this video helped you out i hope that you know how to create content for your next client how to create content for a website and uh, you can see two more videos on the screen right now about content writing so go check that out because there is a lot of good things and good information that i am giving away guys and i'll see you next week don't forget To subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next week guys bye bye